Okay, now this uh, TOS tutorial is going to be about the account information once you get logged into Thinkorswim. Uh, you should see up here on the top left where it does say account info. There's a couple of very important things to understand. Number one, uh, your default login is not going to be set up uh, exactly the way you want it. Okay, uh, You'll notice that it says PM for paper money or simulated trading. So when you're practicing strategies or when you're getting started, you want to make sure that you're in paper money so that you can practice freely. Uh, right here where it says total all accounts. Now, it'll be very important to, to know how to change this and toggle this back and forth because your margin account is different than your IRA. Uh, there are different rules, different ways you'll practice, and the tools inside Thinkorswim work differently. So you need to choose one or the other, and let's say we choose margin. It will then bring in the information from my margin account, the trades that are in my margin account, uh, and they just automatically set you up with those two different paper ones. Shows the different positions and whatnot for the margin account. Uh, when I choose IRA, it then will show my IRA, net liquidation, option buying power. We'll go through that in just a second. Now, option buying power, uh, the best way to describe this is this is how much money you have left to put on new trades. It's how much money you could buy options with, okay? Net liquidation and day trades is if you cashed out of everything you're in, how much money they would give you in your account. Uh, cash and sweep vehicle is a processing thing on the back end. Usually new traders shouldn't even worry about that too much. If you need more information, I would call Thinkorswim or any broker directly. Uh, that is some of the basic account information that you need to identify, toggling between the two accounts and uh, learning how to read the option buying power, the Forex buying power in margin, that's if you're trading Forex, net liquidation and cash and sweep. Again, if you ever want privacy on those accounts, just click on privacy. That way it just kind of hides them and shades them out so people can't, uh, if they're looking over your shoulder, you don't want that, then uh, you can you can move that around. This has been a TOS tutorial from uh, Coach T.